chapter 25, ayah 54. According to that ayah, if you go to Al-Qurtubi, if you go to any scholar, early scholar, it says if you have sex with a woman outside of legal Sharia marriage, and you get a daughter from that mar uh, from that sexual intercourse, fornication, you can still have sex with your own conceived daughter, the daughter that you got from that illegal marriage, illegal sexual intercourse. She's considered not to be your daughter, so you can have sex incest with her. Did you check it out before calling me ignorant, Sarah? Did you go to Al-Qurtubi? No answer. Yeah. I think uh, she do. She needs to do ablution for her mic. Uh, I think there are jinn inside the mic that not allowing her to speak. My question, please, sir. Again, chapter twenty-five, ayah fifty-four. It says that if you have sexual illegal sexual intercourse with a woman, so which is uh, regarded as uh, illegal sexual intercourse fornication action with a muslim woman which is considered not sharia marriage and you get a daughter from that sexual intercourse act still because it's not a sharia marriage you can still have sex have sex with your own daughter according to that ayah do you agree Sh sarah can you unmute why are you yourself saying, why are you saying according to that ayah Read, read the ayah. Does it mention anything like that? No. Yeah. When you're applying your... Uh, okay. Code. Can you read the ayah and answer my question? Can you tell Can you tell me what the ayah says? Can you do it? Chapter 25, ayah 54. Can you tell me what this ayah is talking about? This ayah is talking about what God created. He created Adam and Eve, and then from, from there, he created the rest of the rest of us. Yeah, according according to you or according to the scholars? What does the scholars say about this ayah? What does Al-Qurtubi say about this ayah? Can you tell me what the Qurtubi says? Can you not read? Can I not what read? Well, I can read what Qurtubi says. Did you read it before calling me an ignorant? Do you know better than your scholars? Do you know better than Tafsir al-Jalalain? Do you know better than Al-Qurtubi? The Qurtubi? Do you know better than your own Sunni early scholars who know better Islam than you and me, right? These are the Sunni scholars, not some street guys. Should we call Al-Qurtubi, Sarah, according to you, should we call Al-Qurtubi a liar, a deceiver, and a scam bag? Can you say it out loud on the mic? Because he said that, not me, he said that if you have sex with a woman outside of real Sharia marriage, you can have sex with that daughter that is conceived because of that illegal sexual act. Do you agree with Al-Qurtubi or is he a liar, a filthy scumbag? Can you, can you unmute yourself and call in front of everyone, Al-Qurtubi, you are a liar, you are a filthy scumbag. Do it. Yalla, do it. No answer. She can't do it, guys. So she agrees with Al Qurtubi. Thank you very much for agreeing with me. You need to study the Jewish. How are you, Nightmare? Nightmare, how are you? How are you? How are you? Okay, you say you say in, in Islam, you man is allowed to get married with his own daughter. Yes, not married to 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 have sex with her. Just to have sex with her. Yes, oh, not really? to marry her. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, really? Yeah, you want to huh? you want to challenge me? Yeah, but if you if you if you stay okay. with me, don't run away. Okay. Now, okay. if I if I show you the proof, what you would do? Show me the proof. No, no. I want you. I want you. I want you to. I want you to make a promise. I want you to make a which you don't understand. Listen, listen. You, know? you, you are the one who called me, and you are the one who challenged me, and now I accept your challenge. But now the challenge, all, all this effort I will do, if I show you that your prophet, and your religion, and your Muslims, and your Quran is is mm -hmm. a is a book of faith, and you challenge me to show you that, 
what you will do if I show you I want from you a return a promise are you going to say are you going to accept that whoever believe in this I'm not going to ask you to insult your prophet no mm. are you willing to say whoever believe in this garbage is a filthy disgusting creature of course okay thank you guys of course mr. nightmare he said that he made a promise let us go for the promise I made to prove my point here we go read with me please do you see the screen yes all right read with me please قوله تعالى نسبا وصهر النسب والصهر معنيان يا إمان كل قربة تكون بين آدميين translate please yeah guys guys go no, no you yes, translate it because when I want your translation so people will not say I'm making things up please go ahead no you you translate if you make okay. if you have something I don't agree right. that I can right. uh, when, can, when uh, Allah okay. he said when Allah he said this is the interpretation when Allah he said نسبا وصهرا النسب والصهر معنيان يا عمان كل قربة تكون بين آدميين they are saying mm -hmm. Allah he said that lineage and marriage it is a meaning of anything having happened between two people in lineage between two human beings mm -hmm. قال ابن العربي ابن العربي he said النسب mm -hmm. عبارة عن خلط الماء بين الذكر والأنثى على وجه الشرع the word نسب mean lineage is it is uh, a statement mean the mixing of the water between the male and the female according to the Sharia law. This is what lineage mean. And then he can mm -hmm. he continues saying, فَإِنْ كَانَ بِمَعْصِيَا كَانَ خَلْقًا مُطْلَقًا وَلَمْ يَكُنْ نَسَبًا مُحَقَّقًا And if it mm -hmm. was against the Sharia, which means adultery, it is just a creation and it is not an absolute lineage. And then he says, وَلِذَلِكَ لَمْ يَدُخُلْ تَحْتَ قَوْلِهِ And this is why it is not considered under his command or his statement, which means Allah's statement. حُرِّمَتْ عَلَيْكُمْ أُمَّهَاتُكُمْ وَبَنَاتُكُمْ بِنْتُهُ مِنَ الزِّنَا And this is why it is not considered under his statement. It's hmm. forbidden for you, your mothers and your daughter. And he continues saying, بِنْتُهُ hmm. مِنَ الزِّنَا His daughter from adultery. لأنها ليست ببنت له في أصح القولين لعلماءنا وأصح القولين في الدين because and the reason she is not considered as forbidden for him which means to sleep with her because she is not considered as his daughter according to the most accurate scholars and the most accurate opinion of the religion وإذا لم يكن نسب شرعا فلا صهر شرعا and if there is no relationship or lineage by Sharia law, so it is not forbidden for him. فلا يحرم الزنا ببنت أم ولا أم بنت. So it's not forbidden for him to do fornication with his daughter and the mother of his daughter. وما يحرم من الحلال لا يحرم من الحرام. And what is forbidden from halal is not forbidden from what is haram. Now I get you busted. Apologize. And say that you Muslims are disgusting creatures by believing in this as you promised me. Okay. <coughs> no, don't tell me. me, ah, me don't tell me. For you. Don't tell me. Okay. Ah, ha, ha. I just prove it to you. It's in the front of your eyes. Did, did I lie? Did I lie? First of all, did I lie? Did I lie? But the translation is not is not correct. Ah, you know? I told you to translate a, a coward. You said to me, if I say any mistake in the translation, yeah, you will correct no, well, me right away. You. Let me show you. Okay? Uh, let me show uh, no, you. No, 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 no. Okay, you are a liar. You are a liar. Okay, it, I want you. I it, want you to swear. It, I want you to swear it, by it, Allah. It, I want you to swear by Allah first. Swear by Allah that you are going to give me the accurate translation. It, let me show you. Well, I Canada, want you to swear. No, no, no. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Let me show you. I want you. Shut up. Shut up, coward. You made a promise. You made a promise. You are a liar. You are a liar. You made a promise. I ask you to translate yourself. You refuse. You coward. You refuse. You coward. And you say to me, if you say anything wrong, I will stop you. Everybody heard you. And I finished my statement. You said nothing. Now, I want you to translate from the beginning where I started. I'm not going to talk. You read and you translate. Go ahead. Okay. Let me finish. Okay, you start translating. Don't tell me finish. I want you to translate. Correct me. Start from the beginning. 
Start from the beginning. You did not understand what he said. He said it's cow, not coward, it's not, coward, it's coward, not coward, his coward, 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 coward. Swear, the sentence swear by Eric. Allah. Swear by Allah. I did lie in what I read. Swear by Allah. I'm gonna read to you what you made no, me say. No, swear, swear. If I'm lying anyway, what you will lose? You Muslims allowed to swear. I'm swear not, by Allah. I'm, I'm not saying you, you lie. You made mistake. I shut up, idiot. So you admitted I did not make a lie. How come this time you did not say to me I made a lie? I made a mistake. What mistake? Since when Christian Prince he made a mistake according to you? Either it's a lie or it is a mistake. You never said to me before I made a mistake. It was always supposedly a lie. Shut up and don't call me again. You got busted. Coward. What kind of a filthy religion saying such a thing that you can F your daughter if she is daughter from adultery? Why you you don't you don't let me show you why why you, just... why you don't keep your promise you liar I want you no, to swear no, no, no. I want you to swear hey, swear the scholar, I did the lie scholar, swear said. no I want you to swear I did lie I want you to swear swear go ahead go ahead he said most of swear say coward you will not Ooh. swear I mean why you are allowed to swear lying because you know I'm telling the truth have you ever heard of a Muslim that want to swear that Christian is lying why he don't want to do that why I mean I'm lying obviously what mistake obviously I'm trying to deceive people here what mistake since when you say to me you're making a mistake it says it clearly it is not under this is why it's considered not under Allah statement it's forbidden for you your mothers and your daughter been to whom in a zina his daughter from the zina is not his daughter so in Islam it is forbidden for you to have sex with your daughter absolutely forbidden yes if she is a daughter from marriage and if she is not daughter from marriage he continues saying it is lawful for him it's not haram to have fornication with the daughter which is his daughter from that woman and the mother of his daughter together imagine having sex with two women one of them is your daughter and the other one is the mother of your daughter but both they are not from your family, which means the mother is not your wife. Just get lost. Get lost. Don't call me. I don't have time for kids. You are not a man enough. Coward. I am a man. You Muslims are not. Cowards. I'm sure this guy, his mouth was open, like, what the heck? As usual, they will say to me, I never heard this before. Have you ever heard of a Muslim? Listen to me. He did not say to me, I never heard this before. Because your Muslims are deaf, blind, stupid with your camel urine drink. You don't want to read. You don't want to see. You don't want to listen. And when we show you, you go in denial. And you refuse to keep your promises. And where I'm reading from, this is the official Islamic government of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Let me show you the website. Because the Abdul, they might say, oh, you know, maybe this Christian website. Or maybe this is a Christian Prince website. Huh? It's a false website, brother. This is Quran.edu.sa. What does that mean? The kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I made a mistake. Not, I did not lie suddenly, you see. <laughs> I made a mistake. This is such a stupid, filthy cult. Disgusting. 
You see, when the when when the Bible in the Old Testament speak about two daughter of Lot, they have sex with their father. It is not God. He said to them, "Oh, you can have sex with your father. Oh, go and have sex with your father." This is what those two girls they did. It is not God told them to do so. Here, this is, and the funny the guy the scholar saying. This is the most accurate opinion in Islam and the most accurate according to the scholars and the religion. The most accurate, which means there is some Muslim don't agree with this because this is disgusting, but they are not accurate. And they are not the majority. They are little tiny minority. And now this guy, he will be in denial saying to himself, what the heck? I'm not going to accept this. Why? Because there's some little dignity still exists in his ass. Saying to himself, there's no way I'm going to if my daughter. This is disgusting. But it is in the front of your eyes. And when I ask you to swear by Allah that I'm lying, you refuse. Because you know, I did not lie. Anyway, let us see. Uh, we go back to our topic. The reason actually we mentioned this verse not to get Muhammad busted about his faithy teaching and his followers who are they are following the devil, allowing themselves to have sex with their daughter even from their blood. I mean, how disgusting this religion is. How disgusting that you can have sex with your daughter. If you go right now, search in Google, you will find, according to Islamic Sharia, garbage law, which is a collection of trash. There's nothing is called Sharia law, by the way. It's a collection of stupidity. According to this false comedy law, if you have sex with the women and she have childrens from you, according to Islam, those children cannot inherit your name. Okay, why? Because simply Islam don't accept them as a children's to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. You just gave me the answer. Children of adultery in Islam are not allowed to inherit the name, are not allowed to inherit the money. They are not allowed to receive a child support. The second you say to me, you cannot give a child who is a son of adultery or a daughter of adultery, your last name, you just told me that Islam is a big fat cult. You just told me that she is not considered your daughter. You just told me that the Quran forbid you from having sex with your daughter and your daughter is only daughter from marriage according to Islam. And this is what the scholar is saying. This is why you can say, I can have sex with my daughter if she is a daughter from adultery. This is why if you are a woman and you are stupid enough to have a Muslim boyfriend, you better know that a Muslim boyfriend, he have the right to have sex with you and with your daughter in the same time. For according to Islam, you are not his wife. Therefore, she is not his daughter. Only daughters from marriage are forbidden for a Muslim man. This is how filthy, filthy, disgusting this cult is. Don't forget, please, if you are watching us for the first time, to subscribe, because we have, uh, uh, we have a give out. We have, we are going to give versions. As you know, I speak Arabic, and I can call Allah any time I want. And I can ask him to give out versions. So let us see today, Allah will give us how many versions today. You see, Muslims don't believe in Islam. Islam, they believe in vagina. Every Muslim going home, he, he closes his eyes, he holds his private part, and he closes his eyes, and he's imagining himself in the heaven of Allah, and there's 80,000 vagina walking around him. They don't believe in God. This is the most satanic, disgusting religion. They don't care for God. 
they worship their penises a Muslim man his God is between his legs not in his heart If you take the vagina promise of Islam, you will not find any Muslim want to join Al Qaeda, any Muslim want to join ISIS. All what it is about, it's about sex. This is why I have my coming book soon will be out. I hope so. It's called Sex and Allah. And you Muslims, you will buy it more than anyone else. Your prophet and your cult will be demolished in those books.